Hey everybody, it's your boy Nerdicane. I'm doing something different. This isn't, well, this was going to be an unboxing. I was going to do an unboxing of Blue Track. So, as some of you know, I've you know, said this in videos, I have a son. He's three and a half years old now. Um, he and I like Hot Wheels. We have, like to have fun making the tracks, have fun searching for treasure hunts and super treasure hunts. Um, I was doing, you know, you're, you're, as a parent, your, your job is to feed that little mind to keep that mind um, engaged and thinking and sort of shaping them, you know, into their, their further education. That's part of your role as a parent. So I went looking on the internet and I was looking for scientific, fun scientific toys. Um, he's probably not ready for a microscope yet. I'll probably get him a microscope eventually. But I came across this, Blue Track. And um, the real kicker of this, is this is made in America. That was that was the other thing. Once I saw, you know, I was looking at it, I was like, wow, it's kind of expensive, it's it's interesting. But then when I saw it was made in America, I was all over it. I was like, okay, I'm doing this. And I got this off Amazon. This is the, right there it says that, what is that, 20, 20 foot value pack. So what you get in this value pack, and it got here super fast. Um, I got here like, they said it was gonna be coming on Wednesday, it got here on Tuesday. So. <clears throat> what you get in this one this pack with an Amazon membership was $48 I think uh, I'll do a screenshot of the the page where I bought it from and I'll link to it as well um, so as it says there the toy track system that you design what this is is it gets your child's brain thinking logically thinking of momentum thinking of inertia, energy, you know, expanded energy and then energy gain. Um, if your kid is ever gonna design a roller coaster, you know, if he's gonna grow up to be a roller coaster designer, this is where it begins because I'll show you something. But this is, it comes with four of these. These are the four ramps and this works differently. It works both ways. Um, these clips right here, they're flexible. The track clips onto that. This is the beginning of, of a loop. Um, this part, to get a good view of it. This has a little, I'm gonna go from the top. So this has a little fin. Uh, what this is, is this is sort of a corkscrew, the beginning of a corkscrew. As you lay the track along like this, this is raised up to begin the corkscrew turning over from this end to the other end. Um, you would line another one of these up, <clears throat> sort of like so, like over here, to bring the corkscrew Sorry, like that, to bring the corkscrew down. Um, those are the four ramps that it comes with. It comes with, and I'll show you these a little later, it comes with anchors. It comes with one car. Uh, why bother? I mean, the car, my son is in love with the car. He's got a yellow car. It's, I, it's not here because, um, well, the reason why this isn't an unboxing is because it got here yesterday and Nerdicane Jr. saw it and he knows, he's kind of learned, he's figured out that Okay, if it's an Amazon box with mommy's name on it, um, it's usually something boring. It's something for Nerdicane Et Jr., it's clothes, it's something like that. He's figured out that if it has daddy's name on it, it's usually something fun. So he, he's not going to leave a box with daddy's name on it uh, unopened. So that's why this isn't a, an unboxing. It's already been unboxed. Uh, I'm just kind of showing you guys what you get in this kit. And I will splice in, when he gets home, we're gonna do some tracks, we're gonna do some loops, we're gonna do some running of, of this track, and I'm gonna kind of show you guys uh, how that works. So, you get those, you get that. The car is not, it's a die-cast car, it's made in China. Um, it's a little bit longer than your average Hot Wheel, and it's definitely heavier than your average Hot Wheel. Those are good things when you're building building energy off of a um, off of a drop, off of a slope, you want to have that energy. The problem is it's not a very quality build in the suspension of the car. And I know it's really goofy to say suspension when you're talking about um, toy cars, but that's what made Hot Wheels stand out uh, from Matchbox and all the other toy cars there is the uniqueness of that quote unquote suspension that a Hot Wheels had. It caused the car to go faster. Um, it doesn't, the car that comes with it 
doesn't have the same development. It doesn't have the same quality. It has a good weight to it. It's really hard. It's harder than most modern Hot Wheels that I've ever touched. It's It's got a really good weight to it. Kind of wish I could find a modern Hot Wheel with that type of weight. It would be excellent on this track. But I digress. Here we go. Okay, I've moved everything out. Um, this is the, the living room. This is my living room. Uh, this is the unveiling of the track. This is how much track you get when you buy this kit. There are bigger kits. I think there's like a God, I, th I think I saw that there was like a 50 foot track and that's a lot of freaking track. But those are, these are very open-ended and that's what that's for. Uh, the big track like that is, is an open-ended toy to where you're not really given, it's not like a Hot Wheels track where it says, okay, put this there, put that there, you know. This is more of a freestyle toy. Let me stop screwing around and I will kick this out because it comes in a big, that's it. It comes in a big roll. Oy! So that's the length of the track. It's probably all the way across my living room. Here's another cool thing. This is one of the things, this is, uh, this is hard tacked onto there. It's very sticky. It's very, very well attached. Suction cup, blue track. This is the, you know, their logo. What you do with this, this is where you get your, your, um, your energy from. This is where you get your kinetic energy from. This is from Ikea, I think. Just a little dry erase board. We do things on that. I've been keeping track of uh, what time Nerdicane at Junior gets up and how much she drinks, although I haven't been keeping very good track of it today. But suction cup goes onto any flat surface. Um, I haven't tried it on this wall, on the walls yet, but I have done it on a door. It sticks very well to a door. Um, so it's, as you see, nice big suction cup. It's on there really well and it creates a nice, a nice drop. Now, some of you guys, you know, you guys have, who've done these things before, you see like right, where is it, right here, that is too sharp of a, um, of a change of direction. You're gonna lose energy there. So, and this is one of the cool things is what you're gonna learn, what your kid's gonna learn, is how, you know, energy is transferred in motion. If I, if I move this out a little bit, and he's gonna learn this. This is, this is what this toy is to teach him. It's to teach him that, okay, if it goes, sure, it's, it might, you might feel it's going faster if it goes straight down and then it turns that way because you think, okay, that's a vertical drop. But no, they learn that. We know that, you know, we're older, we've, we've learned that. A nice, a nice angle with, it goes like that, and a smooth transition to the straight part gets faster. This is the things, these are the things that this blue track is intended to learn, to teach um, kids so so this is what I've done I haven't used any of the ramps I've used no attachments this the material that this is is sort of rubbery so it will have sort of a memory it'll it'll have it'll hold a shape as you can see it's holding its shape right there on just the carpet okay so I got this car this is uh, I think we got this from like the the Christmas advent calendar um, one of, this is like one of my favorite little track cars that that he has, it does really well on track. Look at that. That was the first take. Um, and from using this last night and using it today, I'm not really surprised that that happened. Is what, what I did this first corkscrew and for Nerdicane Jr., it was too sharp. It was too, this end and that end were too close together over here. So the car was, was flying off. So what I did, is I slowly talked him through it. We did the experiment a couple times. Um, I said, okay, where does it fly off? And he says, I asked, does it fly off here or does it fly off here? And he said, here. I said, so, okay, that might be, that turn might be too sharp. That change of direction might be too sharp. What if we stretched it out and moved it a little bit? And then he, he agreed. I said, okay, that was what we were doing. We were playing around doing the experiment with that. And that's what this toy is. This toy is to get them thinking about that. And so he's three and a half. I've already got him thinking about inertia and, and you know, energy and energy gain and energy loss and with, with a toy like this. So this is, um, I really like this. I'm probably gonna start buying this instead of Hot Wheels track. Nothing against Hot Wheels track, but there's certain things that this has that Hot Wheels track does not have. Um, I bring it in real close. These are 
sort of vertical guide rails on the thing so it holds the cars in there. Also, another reason why you buy this instead of Hot Wheels track is, well, rolling it up is, is easy. Cleaning this up is super easy, it's just rolling. Um, as you see down here, this is the end. This is the, the roll, the part of the roll that's on the center. Um, I'm starting to have to roll it and open it up and make a bigger roll because as you see on the end, you get this tight, this tight curl. But that's kind of not what I want. Um, that's just in storage. You'll fix that in storage. Once again, trial and error. Um, the other thing that this does that Hot Wheels track does not do Cars. Nerdicane Jr. loves cars. He loves the movie. This is Cruz Ramirez. Works just the same. So, I've been playing with this for about 24 hours. Um, my son has been playing with it for about two. Um, I really like this track. I was on the fence about it, and then, you know, I saw Made in America. That's what got me to do it. Um, that's what got me to take the leap. I fully suggest Take the leap. This is a really cool scientific learning toy. Dads out there, that's how you sell it. Yes, it is expensive. It's a little bit expensive, but sell it as a, as a scientific experiment toy for your kids. Um, the cat even loves it too. The cat's sleeping in, in Nerdicane Jr.'s room, but the cat sees the cars going on the track and she just flips out and attacks him. It's awesome. Um, it frustrates the hell out of him. But if I have time in the 15 minutes that I want to do on this video, I will show you guys, um, oh no, wait, there's one more thing I wanna show you. Okay, so the kit comes with two of these with adhesive strips. These are anchor strips. I wasn't really sure what they were until, you, there's a tiny, tiny little picture on this that kind of shows you what these things are. Is what they do is you put the adhesive here and it's a, a double-sided adhesive. Then you put it under the track and you, push it down. Now what this does is give you a bit of stability is you put weighted things like um, Mrs. Nerdican has these like little weights, these little five and two pound weights. Um, those are probably what I could use, but I'm not gonna use that. I'm, I'm doing, I have the woodshed. I'm gonna do, a, get my, um, my router and do a bigger version of this on a big piece of wood on like a, um, like a one by one square of wood. That way I can do different things with it. So um, it does come with two of these. They're actually pretty cool, but I'm not gonna use them. I don't, uh, nothing against them. I mean, but I just have, I have resources and I have things that I can design that could be better than this. And the same way with experimentation. You will come up with ideas and you'll come up with things that will, will be better, like the corkscrew to start the corkscrew. Maybe he's got a shoe. Maybe a shoe would be a better thing to launch the corkscrew off of, you know? But that's what you do with this toy is, is it's engineering, it's improvisation, and there's a lot of science to it. But that's all I got for this one. I am actually, when we get a little better with this and we get better loops and things like that, I'm probably gonna do a race series. I like, I like a lot of those videos where they have the Hot Wheels racing series, but um, that's probably what I'm gonna do with this. So you guys go check this out. I give it... I, um, I'm, holding, I'm holding the camera with one of my hands, but if I had a third hand, there would be a thumb, like right here. I, I imagine that I would have like two, two arms on the left side, because that's my luck. I'm right-handed, but definitely two thumbs up on this thing. So uh, thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. Go out and buy this. There will be a link in the description. You guys go have a good day. Bye.